39. Why don't you go to ESPN and then I can not talk to you? He's not going to work me like a dog and not pay me. (laughs) Four straight straight wins for Golden State. After losing the Why wouldn't you go to ESPN? Did that go work me like a dog and not pay me? (laughs) I'm just saying. Things that happen on this show. ESPN 1, 2, 3, ESPN News, ESPN News, ESPN Radio. And then come up with that little puny yeah. thing. Hey. Nothing. And you yes, wake up. I'm telling yeah. you, nothing good <laughs> happens <laughs> after 1.15 in the morning. ESPN yes, Deportes. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, I have your ESPN Deportes. Muy bien, gracias. Hey, you have been working on it, haven't you? Thank you, Rosetta Stone. All right. Welcome back to NBA Cinema. So we got to talk about it, guys. Inside the NBA, we'll move to ESPN in 2025 licensing deal with TNT. When TNT Sports lost the rights to the NBA this summer with the league opting for a three-network deal with ESPN, NBC, and Amazon, the biggest question from fans was what would the future look like for Inside the NBA? After initially sounding as if it would end after this season, TNT was able to get Charles Barkley to agree to stick around for the remainder of his contract with plans to continue the show in some capacity. Now we know what that will be, and instead of TNT airing the fellas talking about various sports as was rumored at one point they will continue to cover the nba as part of espn's nba coverage in a unique licensing deal between disney and warner brothers discovery according to the wall street journal and andrew marchan of the athletic the deal will see tnt sports continue producing the show but it will air on espn This all happens alongside a larger settlement between the NBA, Warner Brothers, Disney, which will see Warner Brothers Brothers Disney continue running NBA TV and the league's digital platforms with Bleacher Report and House of Highlights maintaining rights to NBA videos. That is all excellent news for those at TNT Sports and those outlets and sources inside TNT Sports tell Dime that they are considering it a best case scenario after losing NBA game broadcasts, particularly considering NBA TNT is their lone year round NBA property. So man, yeah, it looks like they're going to be on air on ESPN ABC throughout the year. And many fans have already pointed to the fact that uh, you can get inside the NBA in the NBA finals. Remember that used to transition over to NBA countdown at the end of the season. Now with this new licensing deal, um, you know, you you got that going on. And and I presume um, they will be able to still do March Madness by still being with TNT. So that part of the deal, Charles, Shaq, and those guys uh, get to go and do March Madness as well. So uh, shout out to everyone that made this possible. I know a lot of NBA fans was looking forward just to see what was going to happen with this, but we got our answer, man. Inside the NBA will be around, and now this show gets to leave on its own terms. I know the idea of them covering, you know, the Big Ten or whatever it was, Big 12, something. It was one of the conferences. No, I think it was the Big East. They were talking about potentially covering that. Um, I like this much better because they are an NBA show, and them lending themselves to college basketball is more special that way uh, for them to come in March Madness rather than to make it the primary thing. So I'm happy with everything that happened behind the scenes and the outcome, best case scenario. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Till next time, peace.